Today we're making new Stanley rigging for a sailing yacht in the yard. On the top of this stay is a swage eye. The eye is usually terminated on a pin in a toggle or a hanger. At the bottom end we've got a rigging screw. The rigging screws are used for adjustment, for tuning, straightening and tensioning the mast. We start off by swaging the eye. So swaging is a method we use to permanently attach end fittings to wire for Stanley rigging. The process involves a hydraulic ram dragging the swage through roller dies and compressed onto the end of the wire. There's two 20 ton rams on the machine forced on the end. If you cut one open, you'll see it's, the stainless sleeve is crushed over the wire. The wire grooves are in the sleeve. They become one piece, basically. And afterwards, the tolerance can be checked to make sure it's been crushed correctly. The yacht comes in. I'll look up the mast. I'll see if it's straight. I'll make sure nothing's bottomed out. There is still adjustment left because I don't want to copy one that's wrong. And then it's literally a case of copying the old ones. You can do it either way, you can measure it and write down the measurement, you can lay the old one out using that as a guide. We swage on the top terminal, measure it out along the floor, preset the rigging screw to two thirds or half open depending on the circumstance. Two thirds open allows for you to bring the mast back down tight. When copying old rigging, the new rigging screw is usually set between half and two thirds open to allow for room to tension and adjust. If the old rigging comes in bottomed out, we then lie the new next to old, but with the new rigging screw, at two thirds open, allowing for scope. We can set the new one up to the same length as the old one, but allowing enough adjustment. The standing rigging is always made in pairs, so that when you tune, you can measure off the bottom. So obviously four stays, there's only one four stay, usually only one back stay, one in a four stay. We make everything symmetrical, so you'd make both V1s at the same time, swage on both the tops, lie them next to each other, cut them both exactly the same, and then we know when we're tuning, if that measurement on the rigging screw is the same as that measurement, there's a good chance the top of the mast is in the right place. You can't eyeball a straight mast, some people try, and other people's put a halyard down, but I prefer having known if I've made the rigging, I know that that and that are the same length, I know that and that are the same length. So we set that rigging screw at 350 mil, we set that rigging screw at 350 mil, then you just bring it all down equally from there, then tune the rest of the mast in under. 